हाय आशीष हाय आदित्य वेलकम टू सुदीप ऑडियोज चैनल थैंक यू क्विक इंट्रोडक्शन टू यू वुड बी दैट यू वुड पर ऑफ द बिजीएस्ट म्यूजिक कंपोजर्स फॉर टेलीविजन सीरियल्स एंड वेरियस चैनल्स एंड वेरियस पॉपुलर शोज अक्रॉस द कंट्री Congratulations for that. Thank you so much. And you've been working for years together, and uh, are a very well-known person in the music uh, industry. Uh, we would like to take this opportunity to know from you uh, what kind of careers are possible for anyone in the television sector related to music. There are four main careers that are possible as a music composer or music producer in television. One is uh, the primary one, which is a background music composer for television shows. That also is divided into fiction and non-fiction. There are two distinct type of composers who function in both. Okay. The second would be people who compose themes. Okay. Theme music is something which defines a character and is typical to that character. Normally, whenever a character is uh, present on screen. Just hearing the sound of the theme would, uh, you would know that a character has entered. Like uh, very famous theme music would be like Gabbar sings from Shole. Okay. You have that. Right. So any time that would play, you know that Gabbar he's has around. made his entry and he's around. <laughs> so or he's saying something really devilish. Okay. So there are various kind of theme musics. So like in television, we have these uh, themes for vamps. And yeah, those those famous vampish themes, yeah. which have all the weird sounds in them. Yeah, right. those are examples of theme music. Right. Then you have theme music for the heroine of the show, who is the main protagonist. Oh, okay. We have themes for the hero. Then we have romantic themes. We have the family theme, maybe for some important side character in the show, and then for a villain or a comic character in the show. These are the primary themes that we normally do. And is the same theme played throughout the thousand episodes that happen, or? Well, you see, the theme by itself has different variations. So we may have instrumental variations of the same theme using the same melody. We may have emotional variations. We may have dramatic variations. So that one theme is actually represented in various different forms to represent the mood of the character, along with the presence of the character. so uh, when you say of composing a theme do you as a composer get to know the character on screen like it is done in films that you go through all the reels and then decide the music well that would be an ideal scenario but in television we have a lot of challenges okay so even before the character or the artist is probably finalized we've already started work on the theme we don't even know how the character is probably going to look like or oh, you don't have a picture of the we don't have a picture of the character mostly i mean it would be very helpful if we did <laughs> also the mannerisms of the character we are only briefed in the form of a character sketch okay and from that we have to decide what are the characteristics of that character that we want to represent in the theme okay uh just a latest theme that we had was for a comic villain in one show This is the new concept of comic villains, which has come out now. It's very uh, predominant. So the question which I asked when I was asked to compose for that is, what are the exact emotions or characteristics which you want to be representing in the theme? Okay. The answer I got: it needs to be entertaining. It needs to be dhamal, and a slight tinge of negativity to it at the same time. So when composing, I have to take care to see that all these three main characteristics are present in the music that supports the character. Wow! And how long is such a theme usually? The length of the theme is anywhere between one to two minutes. Okay, that long. Yeah, it's one to two minutes. Because a theme has to have its uh, varying uh, emotions. It should not sound monotonous at any point in time. Otherwise, it sounds like a loop being played. Mm. Mm. So it's got its different variations within the theme itself. next career option is composition of title music for shows okay a title music is very important because when the title music plays in a show you know that that show has started correct and a title music represents the identity of what the show has to say okay 
Is so, it a happy, sad? That kind depending of on the show. I mean, I mean, you might have uh, if the show is representing youthfulness, mm. we'll have a title which is very young and peppy, with a lot of drums, guitars, and things like that. If a show is probably a crime show, then you will have that kind of a mood in the title track, which sets the tone for the show. Mm. And if a show is a soap, then it could be anything because. There are so many variations and so many... Can be a film song also these it days. Can be a film song, yeah. The new trend of taking off from film songs. Even the movie. title itself. Yes, even mm -hmm. the title. Uh, but what is happening is, as a television viewer, one hardly gets to see the title track. Maybe it's only in the reruns or in one slot they play. Otherwise, it's just immediately it starts with what happened yesterday. Yes. What's going to happen tomorrow? That is because people don't want to, the channels especially don't want to wait for a person to switch over to the next channel. So it doesn't run away to... So it doesn't run away uh, to another channel okay. to check what's going on there. Which is why they are, the whole concept of title tracks has now sort of uh, deteriorated in that mm. sense. But title tracks are still being made and a lot of variations on that title track are used in the show. Okay. Sometimes something about the title track may function as a theme. Also in the initial episodes, it's definitely yeah. a point, the channel makes it a point to establish the identity of the show by playing the title track. Okay. It's actually later on, maybe after a month or two, that the playing of the title track switches off. Oh, okay. okay. That's been the current trend. That's been the current norm, yes. Okay. What's the fourth option that you were talking about? The fourth option is a relatively lesser known option, which is that of promo producers. Basically, music producers for promos. Now, promotional videos for television shows are very important. And uh, that establishes the curiosity and uh, basically tickles the curiosity of the viewer to see what is going on in the show. So, is this for only forthcoming shows or no, even it's for ongoing, ongoing shows? Like a lot of high points in the shows, like if there's a death scene of somebody or there's somebody going to get married or in a very dramatic scene that is going to happen. Channels promote it. Some dead man is coming back yeah, to life or something. Yeah, anything, anything can be possible. So yes. when the impossible is happening, we normally promote it so that people get curious as to what is going to happen on that show and they see it. Okay. Very uh, okay. good example about a promo was the one done for Mahadev. Okay. Because um, I remember that was the death of Sati. Okay. Which is a very important high point in the show and Shiv's Tandav Ratya. And from that promo, the TRP of the show doubled. Oh. So and it is important. Yeah, so promo is very important and how it is designed is also very important. And the music obviously is of course. very important. Any examples you would like to share in each of these different options um, that you might have done? Examples as in uh, current shows that I am working on, Balika Vadu and Diya Bati are some of the top shows right now. So, Diyabadi title track was done by somebody else, it was done by Adil Prashant. And the themes were done by both. And the background score was done by me. And the promos are done by somebody else. Okay, so, so it's not it, the same person who's doing everything. It's not necessary at all that the same person does why is everything. This, why can't the same person be roped in to, you know, do everything? Because he knows the theme, he knows. Well, actually what... Uh, the logic behind it is that people need a fresher perspective in a promo than what is actually on the show. A person who is already doing the show may not provide that fresher perspective because he's queued into the show. Mm -hmm. And also, I mean, uh, television background is like a full-time occupation without any space for a lot of things. Okay. So, promo producers can devote that, more, that much more extra time into putting it into that job. Okay. Because deliveries on television backgrounds are very haywire all the time and with a okay. daily you have like at least five to six episodes a week. So it's not that you get the episode for a month later from today? Month? I mean we are lucky if we gave it, get it a day later from today. Oh really? Yeah. So it's like the show is going on air tonight and you get it in the morning kind of a thing? Or yes. I mean, it there also are happens? instances that we have got the episode three hours to four hours before telecast time. Oh. Not only in the morning. So. And, and you, we, you we have, have delivered. To, yeah. yeah, exactly. And you have to perform and deliver also. We need to deliver quality under pressure yeah, at all exactly. times. So it's a very strenuous job in a way. Yes, but uh, when it comes to strain, if you relish the pressure and you relish the strain, then you can do really well in this industry. Okay. Uh, 
uh, any themes that you've done which we have heard of? Yes, I mean, uh, well, themes of Balika Vadu which uh, are very famous and uh, they are available on the net also right. as downloads. Uh, themes also for the serial Gulal which we did, I mean that was a very interesting experience okay. because we had a Gujarati milieu for that show. Okay. And we actually went to Gujarat and recorded with folk singers there okay. to lend that authenticity to the show. Or right. uh, music, background music for a show is a missing element or the third element in that show apart from the video and dialogues. Mm -hmm. So what you are seeing and what you are hearing, the hearing supplements what is missing in the video also. Okay. If you are shooting in a completely different location, the audio provides you the mood and the whereabouts of the location where you are seeing right now. Correct. So in that sense it's very important. Which is why to develop a sense of authenticity for that show, we actually went, we recorded with folk instruments and folk uh, musicians and singers from Gujarat and especially the region of Kutch okay. to get that authenticity of that region. Okay. So these are things that, I mean, um, which are very enriching experiences and very right. enjoyable for us because they are out of the ordinary when we get to do these things. Thank you for sharing your time with us. My pleasure. And Thanks I'm sure you. a lot of viewers will be benefited by the career options you've suggested to many newcomers also. I definitely hope so. Yeah, great. Thank you, Ashish. Thanks.